Hi there, Cancers. Welcome back to my channel, the Zodiac Love Tarot. I'm Jennifer Winters, and this is your Cancer August 2020 Astrology Tarot reading. Now, this month we're going to be talking about Uranus for the month of August, because on August the 15th, Uranus is going to be turning retrograde in the sign of Taurus. So that really means that your life may be turned upside down in the month of August, if it hasn't been already, because Uranus also changes the world globally. Globally, it is an, it ushers in sort of chaos and creativity at the same time. So people are trying to think of creative ways to get out of the chaos, and you can just see that that is definitely happening. And so in the month of August, when it turns retrograde, it's going to force us to really think about um, the changes that need to occur in our life to help us move forward, to help us grow. And so I'm going to be talking about the blessings that Uranus has for you and the messages. So if you want to hear the messages, please type down below. I'm ready to hear my message. And also I'm ready to get a blessing, something of that nature. So that when Uranus does come around, he knows that you're looking for his energy. Okay. So let's just start with um, a reading here with my cards, which are the astrology cards. And if you guys have been to my channel before, you know, this is my go-to deck. And I love the astrology in it and the Greek mythology. And this is going to open up the story and tell your story. So if you want to hear that story, say, please tell me my story. All right, so let's get into it and see what the main theme of, it, of your story is for the month of August. Let's see. A little tongue twister there. <laughs> All right, let me see what's going on here. All right, okay, so... Okay, I'm seeing that it's been, it hasn't been totally smooth sailing and that you're trying to move forward and I'll tell you what's going on. Okay, so this card is upside down, which is the Six of Swords and it's also the Cybris card. And when we see this card, it means that things are rocky right now, that you've been going through some tidal waves that have been just crashing at you and things are not smooth. That's what happens when this card is inverted. And what it seems to have something to do is you basically finding your way forward. It has the Prince of Wands here, which is this mutable fire sign, meaning that uh, it could be you trying to move forward in a relationship. You're trying to move forward at work. You're trying to um, just move in general uh, to a different location or you're trying to have some sort of movement. There's something that's stagnant in your life right now and you're, you feel like it's, it's hard to move forward because you're, nothing is going smoothly. Okay. And, but there's something you're seeking. There's something you're after. I don't know if it's a new love, it's a new job, or if it's money, but it's definitely something that you're seeking. And, you know, this, I was, I'm kind of hoping that this would give me a little bit of an idea of what you're seeking, but this card, it's the Auriga card, and it's the Six of Pentacles, and it's inverted for you, okay? So when this card is inverted, it tells me that you need to have patience, that you're trying to go against the grain, that you're pushing too hard, that you're impatient for the things that you want, and it's causing you suffering, and you don't want that suffering. So what you want to do is embrace and nurture yourself at this time, pay attention to yourself, um, back off a little bit, and get, I'm feeling, get back in shape, get back um to uh, yourself, like maybe all the pushing and going against the grain is causing something emotional to happen where you don't feel good, where you don't feel like doing stuff, and that's really uh, bringing you down a bit. And so the lesson here from Uranus is going to be this month is definitely stop going against the grain, slow down, and take time for yourself. This is it's going to be something where you need to feel good about yourself first. Okay, that story is coming out. It's coming out. You want something and you're pushing way too hard to get it. Okay, so that's where the story starts. <laughs> and if you are doing that, please tell me down below in the comments, like, yeah, I've been trying to do this and it's not working out. That way I can engage with you and figure out what's going on. And that's what I'm here for. Okay, so also let's do the Rider Waite Tarot, and let's get personal. 
So <laughs> if you want to hear um, more about yourself personally, just type down below what's my story. And, and then when we're finished, tell me if any of this resonated with you, okay? So I'm going to pull three cards from here, and we're going to find out more about what's going on. Oh, I'm getting that I had gotten these two cards for uh, Taurus. And that's interesting because with Uranus going retrograde in Taurus, we're going to have some reverb, like it's going to be vibrating to everybody. So it's going to have that reverberation coming into your sign too. And that has to do with this upside down King of Pentacles, which again is just this feeling like there's a lack of fulfillment and really wanting to stand in your power but not being able to just yet um, because you're searching for something. That's why it's inverted. And again, we have um, the magician, which is inverted, meaning that the way forward is to go back to your the skills your the skills that you have and it's not skills that you're working on right now but these are skills that you've perfected over time these are skills that you're passionate about these are things in your arse arsenary i guess you could say or your personality that you um, have had accomplishments with in the past so for instance, if you're a photographer, go back to doing photography for a while. And if it fits into your new business or whatever you're doing, um, you know, use that as a resource to get some fulfillment. If you're a singer, go back and sing. If you're a writer, go back and write. If you're play, if you're a musician and you haven't played your music in a long time, it's going. It, this card is telling me that to go back to. Um, your traits and qualities that are in your arsenal because the magician has an, at his disposal his his tricks and his his um, uh, effects, if you will. So you go back to that. And then also what I see here is the, uh, let's see, the Six of Wands. Okay, so you've got the Six of Pentacles and you've got the Six of Wands. Okay, so this means to me that you are still having a hard time manifesting stuff with the magician card being upside down and with the king of pentacles. So this is the rut that um, Uranus is trying to warn you of because when Uranus comes, it's, it's get It's going to force you out of your rut. Like whether it's like a do or die situation, like either you change or, no, or nothing is going to happen. It's going to negatively affect your life. And so you know, with this uh, Six of Wands being upside down, there's this fulfillment or celebration that at the end of whatever you're trying to achieve is being stalled. It's being, it's not here yet. And the only thing that I could say, again, is that you want to take time out for yourself because, again, you're going against the grain. And go back to the things that you enjoy and like the, that list of things that I said, whatever it is that you like to do with it. I don't, if it's boating, if it's fishing, if it's something that brought you um, monetary things, you know, accomplishments, or if it's just something that brought you uh, physical and mental self-esteem that translated into other things in your life that made you feel more fulfilled. Maybe if you're happier, your relationship's better. If you're happier um, at work, like to your in, inside, then you're happier at work. There's a lot of ways that this can translate over. So go back to whatever it is that makes you happy and do that passionate thing. And that's going to um, help you with this fulfillment, help you stand in your power. Okay. All right. So that's the message that Uranus is sending. And um, the primary one again is whatever you're passionate about, really work on that right now. Okay. So if you want to tell me down below what you're passionate about say I, li I love to sing I love to write I love to dance whatever it is and then that would be something I would really appreciate hearing okay so next let's find out this next set of cards I'm pulling is going to be the energy that Uranus is sending your way so if you want good energy and you want Uranus to help you out please say below Uranus give me some good energy <laughs> And let's find out what it has to say. All right. Or what the planet Uranus has to say. Okay. And 
remember that, you know, Uranus also um, is ruled by feeling freedom and just uh, being able to deal with uh, change and intuition. So those are a couple of things I want to just remind you of. So also, also because it puts energy in the cards. So let's see what we have. What kind of energy? Oh, that looks good. Ooh, even better. Okay, guys, this is great. All of your cards are right side up, and they're all super positive cards. Okay, so the first one, this is the first blessing from Uranus, which is the door to spirit. Okay, so this tells me that um, spiritually what you want to do is go back to uh, really you know, whatever your spiritual practice is, you, you want to practice it <laughs> harder. Okay. And think about, um, what that particular, what your spirituality means to you, what it means to your life, uh, what it means to other people, how it affects other people. You know, um, if, uh, you know, you are a Christian, then you think about, um, you know, reading the Bible or talking about, Christianity with other people and spreading the word. And then, you know, if you're practice something, you know, like uh, Taoism or Taoism, however you want to pronounce it, then you want to get back to those um, roots. You want to make sure that you're doing those practices, maybe, uh, you know, doing your Tai Chi and and uh, focusing. And so it's all the spiritual things, whatever pra spiritual practices that you do, um, those need to be highlighted right now, because that is also going to be this healing and nurturing that I was talking about that you need for yourself. And uh, that with the passions is really going to help. And now we have a victory card and it's upright. So basically what this is saying is that with all these things, um, that Uranus is trying, this message that it's trying to send you, you will have victory because there's only a few things. And, and it, it's great that it's all things within your control because you can control um, slowing down and not going against the grain and taking time out for yourself and going back and enjoying your passions and, uh, you know, practicing your spirituality and all of that stuff. That's really great to do and then it's going to bring you victory so hey you know the the cat's out of the bag you got it made okay <laughs> all right so cancer what else do we have we have caring connection okay so this is another thing that uranus is going to help you with so maybe right now you have felt as though you're not as close to your partner and that is making you feel um sad in some sort of way and that's also causing these waves or these rocky waves for you to happen but uranus is saying like look um everything i'm telling you here is going to be bring you closer in your relationship it's going to um bring someone who sees what you're going through and really embraces you and helps you along your path because a lot of times people will embrace you when they really see that you're trying really hard to um, better yourself and that is attractive to people and they really like that so um, that's helpful so if you know the better you feel about yourself the better you're going to be able to attract other people and Uranus is saying that you're gonna have victory and you're gonna have closeness and that you're going to feel spiritually more connected and connected to your uh, power and that's going to smooth out these rock this rockiness that you've been feeling because um, whatever that, whatever this is, is out of your control. So you have to know that, that the only thing that you can control right now is yourself. And that's definitely why you've got these two, six, you got the six of wands, meaning you can't manifest right now. And the six of pentacles upside down, meaning you're rushing towards something that you can't control. So just make sure you, you know, change the things you can change and, um, you know, let your spirituality guide you to understand the things you can't change okay so thank you so much cancer thank you for coming to my channel if you did like this message please say so down below i like the message and then also uh, leave a like and and share to some other cancer or somebody that you think that could use this message and subscribe to the channel because i definitely want to keep helping you because that's what i do i'm a six delineum libra and so i'm meant to bring love and light to the world and i do love you guys and i'm so appreciative that you're here and coming to my channel and 
yeah, that's it. And I hope to see you again next time. All right. Thanks, Cancer. Bye.